In this video, I'm going to show you some soft tissue technique that we can use on the rhomboids, mid trapezius, and also the erector spinae. If we look at the rhomboids, first of all, with your head forward, okay, the most prominent vertebra, you can see we've got three vertebrae here, okay, so C7, if that's, if we believe this one to be C6 and he looks up and it disappears, then it would be C6, okay, but because it stays where it is, more likely it's C7, T1, T2, so rhomboids would come from head forward, C7 and T1, and then rhomboids major would come from T2, T3, T4, and T5, and then they will naturally come down to that medial border. If I ask you to interlock your fingers and pull your fingers apart, you'll see the fibers are here, okay? The fibers coming across will be mid fibers of trapezius because the rhomboids will be a lot deeper. Everything speeds the rhomboids, but they're not. This is the lower trapezius coming down to the lower part of the thorax in here. I'm gonna relax. So rhomboids are deep muscles. So when you are treating anything here superficially, you will get the mid fibers of trapezius and also the erector because the rhomboids are the deeper structure. Now we have a few choices when we can treat this. And one way is to get the patient just to chin to chest and roll as if you're going to slump. Okay, that'll be the first one we will do and come back up. So what we can do is that. So if I bring my arm straight, okay, I can now use one side or the other side from here. So this one, so I'm going to keep my arm straight, my thumb lead in. And I'm just going to come onto it here. So take a breath in, please. And when he breathes out, just slowly chin to chest and I'm going to glide down through that mid scapula area. Notice the focus on the erector really, but I still will cross the muscles we've already mentioned. There's the, if you just bring your hand onto your lower back, left one, and you can see the medial border of the scapula. Yeah, just let it relax. Okay, along here. So we've got the medial border of the scapula. So the rhomboids are gonna naturally fill this sort of space in here from there. Relax your arm again. Take a breath in please. And breathe out and chin to chest. And I can just bring my arm over so I'm going to come around at more of that towards that medial border and glide in through. It's hard to say how many times we do this and back, but I suggest we don't do it too many because we could easily irritate the tissues. From there, I can drift to the other side. Off you go and just glide down. Nice little technique, these. From there, if you want to and if you're stable enough, then you can lean with both arms and then you can just drift down from there. I'm not saying you get the same pressure, but it's still quite a nice technique you can do for that mid scapular region. Now, if you don't particularly like using the neck and slump in, then what we can do is just retract the shoulders a little, good, and then I want you just to round your shoulders. So you're just going to protract. So we start in a retracted position, not too much, because you won't be able to get the, the hand in there, and then slowly protract. So that could be another way of lengthening the mid scap muscles and come back. Not the easiest for all patients. Max is doing well. Okay, so from there. If you don't like that one, you can have one arm up like this and then you are just going to reach. Okay, maybe reach with your straight arm. So you're going to do that. Okay, take a breath in and glide in through. So he is slowly, slowly, reaching from there and again that's quite a nice way most patients will be okay to do that technique so you can glide through as he's reaching what's also quite nice from here is can you see it's a natural motion do the same again so reach but i want you just to rotate with the body there okay so take a breath in so he is going to rotate so this is a good thoracic exercise as well because he's rotating his spine as we come in through that come back Maybe swap sides if you want to. I can control him from this hand. Off you go. And I can glide down slowly. Slow down. From there. Okay, so I can rotate him if I want to a bit more. Coming down. So there's a few variations we can do. If I ask my patient to push back against me, we activate. You can see the musculature contracting for 10 seconds. So it's like an MET, muscle energy technique. And it's a post isometric relaxation. 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And then you can repeat the same process. Off you go. And then you can glide down through that. Okay, and you go as far as you want. Come back. If you place your hands on your mid thigh, from there, chin down. Yes, we're talking about the mid scapular area, but there's nothing wrong with 
going slightly lower. Okay, you have, you have your hands like this or like this, off you go. And just slowly chin down to your chest and keep going as far as you can. Keep going. And he's gliding down there. Okay, so that's more for the erector spine. But it's quite nice to add it uh, in one of the movements. The last one, arms across your chest, please. From here, I can sit, I can cradle. I can get my patient to do most of the work as in you rotate in this way. And my fingers are going to find the spinous processes, whichever level you feel is appropriate. And then the fingers in the gully and the patient is going to go with me and I'm going to glide. So a lovely way of improving thoracic mobility, as well as treating the erector, mid trap. And if you are potentially deep enough as I come up towards that mid scap in the rhomboids, as well. From this one is quite nice because what we can do is fingers, take a breath, rotate slightly to the left. So he's rotating, activating for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, he relaxes, breathe in. And as he breathes out, I repeat the same process. So it's a good mobility exercise for the thoracic spine. So we've done a few little techniques there, working on the muscles that we talked about, the rhomboids, the mid fibers of the trapezius, and also the erector spinae. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video for the soft tissue techniques.